Hello, it's Joe Lines. In this video, we're going to demonstrate um, doing some just shading cells in Excel. Um, so, first off, we need to um, connect to the correct object in Excel, which in this case, and let's go back, I think I have this open here. So, if I tried to, to call the method for coloring the cell in the application or worksheets, it's not going to work. And let me, let me demonstrate that real quickly. Um, hopefully, you saw my other video where I, I used this this function for pulling back um, the either the application, the workbook, or the worksheet. Um, so here, I'm going to change this to a, a one. Now, when I um, when I call this, it's going to try to connect. It's going to connect to the application and then try to use this function, which basically says, "Hey, go color this range, right?" But um, get Excel back up here, and of course, well, did I put it in the color? I put it in the color. Um, eat. And, and nothing happens. And that's because I'm actually connected to the wrong object. So if, if I connect here, I'm going to change this back to worksheet, which going back over to here, under, under worksheets, you can see range, right? Um, and in my function, I'm, I'm looking at the range that, um, and actually, I, I believe I could probably get rid of this stuff too, because my pointer is pointing specifically down to the worksheet, um, the active sheet. But um, I'm not going to mess with that right now. Anyway, um, and I tell it, hey, pass pass the default to zero if no color is given, and if not, then pass that number right into the function, and it's going to um, do an interior color, and and I have a little cheat sheet which I'll share here in a second of the different colors. So I'm going to save this, reload it, and run it. And notice, let's see, right here I said the range is A1 to H1, right? So that that just shaded these for me. And, and I put a little, you know, the, the things that I use a lot, the colors that are um, easy to, to, to look at if you have text in there. So let's do four for light green. Right, so that just changed that. Um, and, and obviously it's easy to, um, let's, um, let's say A1 to H10. So you can easily I'll adjust the uh, colors that you want. And I'll, again, let's say I wanted to clear those out. So I just blanked them out. And um, it's that easy, right? I, I just keep calling this function that I wrote, this um, Excel format cell shading. And so that jumps down here and it says, hey, take what pointer? This is where I, I get my, my handle to that. And then I say, okay, I'm going to run it in there, which this gets passed to here. And then it says, okay, now go get the range, the range I defined here. Um, and color, by the way, um, you don't have to have the words. I like having the words there because it's easier to read. But this this is um, acceptable too, right? So I'm going to change that to a, uh, let's do uh, 28. So you can see you don't have to have the words there. I like having the words because since it doesn't matter, it's just easier to read. And remember, if I haven't used this function in a while, I can remember, oh yeah, this is setting the color to that. Um, but let's go back in here. There we go. Um, and then all right, here is my handy dandy cheat sheet um, for the the base colors. There are ways I've I've um, I know I've used it. I don't. Because this works well and this gives me the vast majority of the colors I want, I just use this um, process. But you can put in, you know, like the hexadecimal color coding as well. So you can basically have virtually any color you want. Uh, but but these, more often than not, these are you know fine for for what I do. So that's it. Just a quick, easy way to, to be able to to pick a range um, and then color it in Excel. Just make sure you connect to the right object, right? Connect to the worksheet object and then specify the range that you want to color. That's it. Thanks.